Is the Brenner Lakes area ready to grow? That's what locals and area realtors discussed at the first Minnesota Real Estate Journal Summit in Baxter. Our Chelsea Brown tells us how they centered the discussion around the Brenner Lakes region's way of life. It's part of a large effort to put over 600 micropolitan areas designated in the U.S. on the map and tie them to work together nationally. If you want to find out what it's like to be a progressive, successful micropolitan, contact the people at Brainerd. And today, numerous panels were organized to discuss the current state of the economy in Brainerd. The Brainerd Lakes area has an edge in that uh, because we're not just a place that people want to come to for a job. We're a place that people want to come to for the lifestyle. Many panelists boasted about the recreation opportunities within the area and the schools, as well as the flourishing arts and health programs within the surrounding cities. We have about 1,400 employees with the largest employer in the county. Uh, we uh, continue to experience growth. We just last year added 60 new employees and are planning to invest in this community about $15 million in the next uh, fiscal year in expansion. And, in growth. and alongside the Brainerd way of life, the real estate market is also seeing some major market trends. I'm seeing a lot of buyers that are moving up for the first time to second time homes, uh, move up homes, moving out of Brainerd into Baxter, moving out of Baxter into the outlying areas uh, where they have a little more elbow room. And also um, people that are going to be moving out of their 250 house and trying to take that stretch to get on the lake. Real estate investors explain that they are seeing a trend for the younger generation, but explain more non-minimum wage jobs are needed. Because certain folks are wanting to downsize in housing opportunities, there is a shortage of non-lakeshore housing and a larger need for more temporary and rental houses. If we can get three to four or five hundred more people out of state because there's a different housing option for them, that will benefit Ascension. It will benefit the regional shopping in Baxter. It will give, hopefully the wages can go up and we won't have 45 percent of our students in the Brainerd School District needing food assistance. That those people will earn more money because everything kind of grows. And as a whole, to have a larger effect for residents and attracting more residents to stay in the tourism known area. In Baxter, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. Two other panels discuss the commercial real estate market in business and industrial park development, as well as opportunities for investors. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.